I'm glad that I have answers, but I'm still, I, I feel like I'm kind of like in the shock of, okay, you have answers now, but you don't like your answer. Hi, my name is Kat. room in here and it's super loud. It just, it's something with the, the LCD screen. So, I should be getting a new phone in a week. Because the weirdest thing to me is how split it is. Like, it's right down the screen. Pretty much perfectly. Hmm. No! No! Yeah, I'd like to learn to. Yeah, right here. Nah. Hello. Hello. Nah. Hard time swallowing medication. Okay. And um, like not. I. That, it's the wrong word again. Not swallowing. I. I can swallow it perfectly fine. I. 
throw it up within like 20 minutes and it's good. It's pointless. Okay. I have really bad, um, <laughs> reflux GERD. No, this, I'm not, no, something was wrong with my stomach. Okay. They, so they're thinking like gastroparesis or something okay. like that. All right. Do you take the fenugrin as needed? That's to help you. Is that the nausea? one that, I, yeah, I think that's the new one. Yes. Okay. Suppositories. Oh. Yeah, I'm taking suppositories now. Oh, not the tablet. Yeah, okay. the tablet I just throw up, so it's kind of okay. like, well... It's pointless. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I try not to take medication because I know how my body reacts to it. It doesn't okay. react well at all. Okay. We just left, but we're actually having to go back up there because we forgot to get blood. Do you remember why we needed blood? Something with a neurological thing? Antigens or something. He was looking, he's, look, he's going to test for some kind of like antigens in my body, in my blood or something that could also cause this, but they've diagnosed me with Tourette's. So I'll update you I soon. Need. Hey, so I've been sitting here for about like 20 minutes trying to wait for my house to be quiet and it's just not gonna happen. So there's a lot of noises from either the air conditioning, my cats, or you name it. I apologize. See, it's never quiet in my house. Oscar, can you not? He's like, no, I gotta do it right now when you're filming. Thank you. Okay, so I've been back for a few hours now. Um, I kind of wanted to process what my doctor told me. When I went there, I wasn't expecting a diagnosis. <laughs> I wasn't expecting one at all. I was expecting him to want to do more tests first, which he still is doing tests, but he gave me a diagnosis on the day, the first day I saw him. Um, so that was a little weird. Um, here's the paper he gave me to walk around with in case somebody asks questions. I don't know how to feel about it. I was, part of me was like hoping it would be something else because like, um, who, adult tick disorders are just not really known. Uh, adult tick, people that get adult, I can't talk. Adult tick disorders are not something that's really big. Like it's a very, I feel like it's kind of like a rare thing. Um, he says that it is rare, but it, there, it's not as rare as you might think it is. Um, but from like, the but from history I gave him, he thinks that I had ticks when I was a child and they just started to s decide to get worse when I was an adult. So he thinks that this is something that I've had for a while. And I partly agree with that because I remember things happening that I just kind of shrugged off and all that stuff. So he gave us a few options on treatment. He said there's a brain surgery and we automatically said no to that. He said there's medication and then there's some kind of like therapy to help me learn to... <laughs> Um, put the tick into some other kind of movement to, to make it less like annoying or like or whatever and um, he says both sides have um, like negativeness both sides have negative things about it um, and I thought that if I did the therapy thing that people around me would be like um, let's say a tick and they would be like well you're not doing your therapy hard enough because you just let a tick out and I personally thought that that would be a bad thing to bring into my life. Um, I'm not totally saying I would never do the therapy, but it just seems like a lot of negative things with my family wise will happen. And um, he didn't really have too much research about like how well it works. And um, I feel like my texts are a little bit too powerful to channel them and put them into some kind of other movement. I've never even heard of that being a thing. And so when he was talking about that, I was really skeptical about it, especially because of how powerful my ticks are. Like, it just feels like this huge, big, powerful, like, wind almost. It's not like a wind, it's uncomfortable. It's just like this huge, powerful thing just kind of goes swooshing through your body and um, makes you move or say something in a particular way. And I know the majority of the ticks that I want to go away are my vocal ticks. Um, the reason I want those to go away because they're the most loudest, they bring the most attention to me, and it's always negative attention. But those are also the ones that are my most powerful ones. Um, how loud they come out, you can tell is how mu how powerful they are almost. But when he told me I had Tourette's, I was kind of like, wait, I have Tourette's? Because I was like, I don't know. I thought I was going to be diagnosed with some other type of tick disorder because it started getting really bad in my adulthood age and there'd be there's no real proof of it being in my childhood age my mom kind of like yeah she did some weird things when she was a kid type of thing in the in the room so 
Um, he's like, yeah, I think it's Tourette's. But I want to do a, um, my cats are play fighting right now. I want to do a blood test to make sure that it is Tourette's because Tourette's is just kind of like a, well, it's not this, it's not this, it's not this, it's obviously this type of diagnosis. It's a, um, what do you call it? It's a diagnosis of exclusion. So you're like, it's not this, it's not this. So, you know, it's not seizures. It's not some other kind of movement disorder. It's Tourette's. And that's kind of what they did, it did. But they, he says, I have a lot of neurological things going on right now. So he, he says he would, he wouldn't feel like he's totally doing his job if he didn't do a blood test. And for my research, I think they're testing for PANS, but he never specifically said what they're testing for. Something with antigens in my blood. I don't know what that means. It has to do with something in your blood though. That's all I know. Um, with my research, I came up with really nothing except for PANS, which is some kind, they have like a kid's version and then they have an adult version. Um, but um, he really thinks it's Tourette's and that's why he, was comfortable giving me a diagnosis from his words and he wanted me to carry around that paperwork in case like a police officer or any <laughs> anything like that um any person gave me a hard time i would have or a business anything like that he, i would have it written on paper that i have Tourette syndrome but yeah i'm i feel like i'm all over the place right now but i just feel very weird um because, you know, I wasn't expecting it. I thought that, you know, they were going to take some blood work, maybe want to run a few more tests before they would tell me that I had Tourette's or tell me what I have, you know. I didn't, was not expecting it to be the first time I saw him for him to give me a diagnosis. So, I needed a minute to kind of, like, process this. And, I don't know. I'm glad that I have answers, but I'm still, I, I feel like I'm kind of, like, in the shock of, okay, you have answers now. But you don't like your answer what are you gonna do with that and you know there's nothing really to do about it I feel like I've been dealing with this for over a year now without answers I can definitely do it with answers but like there's no cure to this um the medication it can decrease like 50% of the ticks but even like 50% decrease you're still ticking and I have a hard time swallowing Again, I have a hard time keeping down medication, so, it, you know, there's a possibility I'm not even going to be able to keep down the medication. We haven't gotten it yet, it, we're waiting for the pharmacy to fill it and all that stuff. But, like, when I start taking this medication, I'm worried about the side effects. It can make you tired, so I'm going to take it at night, but see, then it'll be working at night and it won't be working during the day, so I might not even see any benefits even if I can take it. Like, the medication, there's all, I hate taking medication. But like the medication side of it, the medication side of it is not a quick fix. It's not an easy fix. It's not a really even fix. It's it's a mask for your tics. And um, I'm gonna give them a try, but I don't know if I'll stick with them. Um, <laughs> no. So you know, there's only like three options. You got brain surgery, which is he doesn't recommend, and I don't think that was a good idea. You have the medication, which has its own side effects, and then you have the therapy. I don't remember the wording that he gave me, but he said that insurance isn't really doesn't insurance doesn't really cover it very much anyway. And I didn't like the idea of bringing the mentality into. I didn't like that idea. That I don't know. I just felt like if I can't do it because I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, that I failed, and then my family is gonna be like, "Well, you're, are you um, implementing your things into it?" And because it's not like a quick, because it wouldn't, like, it's not like a perfect thing that they would be like constantly thinking that maybe I wasn't working hard enough. And like some people, there are people in my family that have that mentality. And so I didn't like, I just don't think it's a good idea right now. Maybe if I was living on my own, I could try it, but I don't think with living around family members it would be a good idea i'm diagnosed with tourette's now and i don't really know how to feel about that it's i'll if i have anything else to say besides what i've already said i guess i'll make another video updating you about it but right now i just kind of feel a little bummed kind of ex kind of happy content 
I feel like a weight is off my shoulders because like for the whole for a long time when we didn't know that there were ticks it was really scary and it just, don't get me wrong it still is scary the fact that I can't control what comes out of my mouth is extremely scary but Tourette's isn't seen it's not really something that's scary it's Tourette's but Tourette's itself is scary does that make sense like it's not scary like um I guess it's just not something that's terminal in that sense. So it's not scary in that sense, but it's scary that I'm losing control over my body. If you take anything away from this video, let it be that even if your feelings don't make sense, they're still valid. Your chosen medical route is always valid. How you feel about your diagnosis is valid. Even if you were expecting the diagnosis, you know, you still have to grieve that. It's, it's kind of a strange process of coming to terms with a diagnosis that you kind of already knew you were going to get. It's weird. You know, everything that you feel about not being diagnosed, now being diagnosed, um, you know, like when you're searching for answers and you're searching for answers, you would think you'd kind of be almost a little happy when you finally get them. And it's not really like happy, it's more of like relieved feeling. So yeah, you'd feel like when you're searching for answers, and you finally think that when you get them, you're going to feel relieved. But then a lot of people kind of get, like, stunned, you know? And I've gone through this with my IC. I went to pursue a possible diagnosis of interstitial cystitis, and they found out that I did have IC. When I got that diagnosis, I was relieved because I had something to finally tell my boss. But I was like, fuck, you know? There's no cure for this. Like... I was ho always hoping that they'd find out what it was, and, and then when they finally did, I was like, well, damn. You know, like, this sucks. I'm glad I have answers, and it, but this sucks. It's a very weird, it's a very weird feeling, because you're happy almost, and you're sad at the same time, and it, it's just like this intertwining weirdness, and that feeling that you have when you finally have your diagnosis is valid. And I have that right now about my Tourette's diagnosis. I guess there's a small chance that that blood work could come back and say something different. But he wouldn't have sent me out of that room with a diagnosis of Tourette's if he thought, if he really thought that would be the case. And so, um, I'm not going to see him for another three months. I have this medication. I'm going to try to, I can't say it, Ziprazone, Ziprazone? I don't know. It's probably the generic version. So I'll put the generic version and the full, like, name, brand name up on the screen for y'all. But this is what I'm going to be trying. I finally do have it in my hands. And I just haven't take, haven't started taking it yet because I'm taking a new medication, this one. And it's for my bladder. And I don't, like, if I take them both at the same time, I'm not going to know if one, like, let's say, like, this one gives me a bad side effect. I'm not going to know if it's this one or this one if I'm taking it at the same time. I'm going to take this one and wait for it to either find out if I can take it or I can't take it. Hopefully I can take it. I'm hoping it'll help with my sleeping in it. Um, and wait for myself to get like used to taking that. And hopefully I can keep it down. And then hopefully later on I'll take this one and see if I can keep it down. Does that make sense? I'm not going to know until later when I start editing this. But hopefully what I said about the medication made sense to you. I think it did. Kind of. Um, articulating what I want to say is always hard because my brain doesn't work very well, but, um, just remember your feelings are valid, even if they don't make sense to others, they're still valid. You have a right to feel that way. So, don't for blah, blah. <laughs> don't forget that I love you. Have an amazing night or day whenever you're watching this. Thanks for staying alive. Goodbye.